Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to turn this plain suitcase into this sweet, crazy 80s inspired suitcase. And if you like what you see and you want to know how to do this, then just keep watching. Luna shows you how to do so first up, I've got some plates to mix my paint on, a paintbrush, and a selection of acrylic paint which I'll mix together to create all the colours I need. I've also got a textile medium which will make the paint into fabric paint. Before I begin painting, I'm going to tape up all the edges around the area that I want to work on. I'm just taking the end of the paintbrush to tuck the tape into those little nooks and crannies that I can't reach. I like to mix my fabric paint in a jar so I can put a lid on it and keep it for later. I'm putting two parts paint and one part textile medium, but check your bottle because yours could be different. And then mix it all the way through until that jizz-like substance disappears. I know it's pretty gross, right? I'm sorry. And do it to the rest of your colours as well. Now to create the gradient, I'm starting with the yellow. It's probably best to start with the lightest colour first. And I'll be applying this paint in overlapping thirds. So what happens is I put the yellow down and then when I go to put the pink on, I will slightly overlap the yellow a little bit to create orange. And then I'll do the same thing with the purpley blue colour, mix that together with the pink and create a sort of gradient. And that way you get that sort of transition of colours all the way through. Does that make sense, bro? Sweet! So what I'm doing here is I'm mixing a variation of different pinks so I can make my gradient have a bit more pop of pizzazz. But if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. I'm just being very, very perfectionisty. That's not a word, but it is now. You can just mix and paint until you're happy with what it looks like, basically. That's what I'm trying to say here. Next up, get a hairdryer and dry all the paint. As the yellow dried, I noticed that it got a bit darker because it soaked into the fabric. So I'm just applying another layer to make it nice and bright. Then dry it again, and if your arms are getting too sore or it's too hot to use a hairdryer, just stick the suitcase in front of a fan. Genius, right? And let it dry overnight. Next up, grab a black pencil and then look up a pattern of your choice. I've chosen zebra print. And then using that as a reference, I just sort of freehanded in these patterns. Now, before you freak out and be like, hang on, Luna, I can't draw. Don't worry. All this basically has to be are some thick lines that end in a point sort of placed at random. I'm sort of drawing mine to cover any areas of the paint that I don't like. There's certain areas that sort of dried more darker than the others. So I will draw my stripes over those areas. And then if you need, colour in the stripes a bit so you know which ones do need to be painted black because you don't want to be painting the wrong sections. That could be bad. So now that I've finished drawing, I'm going to grab a little paintbrush and a big paintbrush as well as some Vegemite. I'm just kidding, guys. It's black fabric paint. And I'm basically just going to paint in all those black lines. What I'm doing is using the big paintbrush to paint in the majority of it and then going in with the small paintbrush to fill in all the fine details. And voila, here it is. All you got to do now, and I forgot to film this, was I put a piece of calico fabric over the top and gave it a light iron, which just sort of seals the paint into the fabric. Um, but that's pretty much it. Now it's ready to be packed full of your favorite Luna t-shirts. I designed some t-shirts, guys. If you want them, link in description. But in all seriousness, I took this suitcase to Chicago, New York, and LA, and I absolutely loved it. And it made it really easy to find on the luggage carousel. Um, and everyone that saw it loved it and it, good times all around. So I hope you liked this tutorial and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye-bye.